Well, a decade long lawsuit over poultry pollution in the Illinois River now has a ruling from the judge. That's right. Tyson Foods, among other poultry companies, now have less than two months to reach an agreement with the state of Oklahoma on how to clean a watershed polluted by chicken litter. Today's Oklahoma's Amanda Slee joins us uh, with more on that ruling, taking an in depth look. Amanda, what have you learned? Good morning, Corey Justin. The U.S. District Judge Gregory Frizzle ruled that Tyson Foods and Car Grill Incorporated and other companies polluted the Illinois River, caused a public nuisance and trespass by spreading the chicken litter on land in eastern Oklahoma, which then leached into the river's watershed. Now, the poultry companies and the state of Oklahoma have until March 17th to provide an agreement on how to remedy the pollution's effects. Those effects include low oxygen levels in the river, algae growth, and damage to the fish population. Now, last October, 2 News Oklahoma reporter Tony Russell covered the pollution in this river. He spoke to Ed Brocksmith with the group known as Save the Illinois River. Brocksmith says they've seen a decline in levels of animal waste contaminated, storm runoff, but there's more that can be done. Unless we can get a grip on these nutrients and bacteria that impact the Illinois River watershed, the water is going to be ugly. It's not going to be a true scenic river. Since the 80s, conservation groups have urged for Oklahoma to increase regulations on poultry farms as this river is important for drinking water, the environment, and for people who like to recreate on the river. Now, the trial for this lawsuit ended in 2009. Judge Frizzell wrote in a ruling that an estimated 354,000 to 528,000 tons of chicken litter, litter that is, uh, was spread on the land each year by these companies. Companies. I've reached out to both these companies, and so far I haven't heard back yet. Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma. All right, Amanda, thank you very much. And yeah, kind of looking a little more into this, I was kind of wondering. It started in 2005 by a, a former Attorney General, uh, Drew Edmondson. He says that this is enough time for them to figure out what's going on. It's just depending on if they do come to an agreement that can fix things. So we'll keep our eye on that, Amanda. Thank you so much.